we're doing is uh, we're given two intersecting lines. And one thing to notice about whenever you have intersecting lines, if you have one right angle, you can actually theoretically say that all the rest of the angles, well, one right angle is telling you they're perpendicular. Well, if one of them perpendicular 90 degrees, then every single one of the other angles is going to also give you 90 degrees. So, um, therefore, we can say that measure of angle 3 is, also, is going to equal 90 degrees. So now it says, well, if measure of angle 4 is 32, we need to figure out what any measure of angle 5 is. Well, since I know that these two angles add up or are going to equal 90 degrees, I can write an equation. And that's the most important thing you want to do when you're trying to solve these. I know you guys are going to look at these and you're going to say, God, what do I do next? Where do I go? What am I supposed to do? Well, remember, we set up equations and we set variables for a reason. We want you to give assigned variables to your angles and then set up an equation and solve. So here I can say that measure of angle 4 plus measure of angle 5 equals 90 degrees. Well, measure of angle 4 is 32 plus measure of angle 5 equals 90. So I subtract 32. I get measure of angle 5 is equal to 58. 